Hi. Hi, everybody. How's everything? Like that, is it? <laughs> Any more being heard about Dan? I called Kerry. There's still a question on him. Well, I know I'm not his biggest fan, but I find it hard to believe that he would attack anyone he's not exactly known for his propensity for violence. They won't send him to prison, will they? They've arrested him. I think he's in serious trouble. Jackie, don't worry. If he didn't do it, it'll be home any time. Ah, and, uh, how can you say that? Because no innocent person has ever been convicted? It's a rather naive view of the world. Don't you think it was him? That's not exactly what Dad's saying. Isn't it? Yeah, well, whoever did it, Josh had it coming. Yeah, damn right. So we're condoning violence now. Interesting. Come on, then, Dad. Spit it out. You've obviously got something on your mind. Very well. I don't believe... Dan assaulted anyone, whereas you two... <laughs> you can't seriously think one of us did it. I just want the truth. It's not as if you haven't made enough threats and the boy has made our lives a misery. Oh, get real, Dad. You're the one that's hiding cricket bats in the shop. Yeah, and for self-protection, I haven't gone out to hunt him down. You're rather quiet. Do you have anything to say for yourself? There's no way I did it. Yes, we know that. You're not that sort of person. <sighs> Where were you when he was attacked? No one near him. I was out getting my head together. Just drop it, will you, Eric? David didn't do it. Even from the hospital, that nutter's still messing with us up here. I'm sick of it. 